Hello there, I'm Professor Feldman. So you want to know about the Daleks? Why did the Dalek apply for a job in pest control? Because it loves to exterminate? Welcome folks to a delightful dive into the world of Daleks. Born from the creative mind of Terry Nation, these odd-looking creatures have been causing a stir in the universe of Doctor Who since 1963. Don't let their pepper pot appearance fool you, though. These beings from the planet Scaro are far from kitchen utensils. They are a force to be reckoned with. Their design, though peculiar, is a marvel of alien technology, featuring a multitude of deadly weapons and a single-minded drive for domination. And their iconic catchphrase, exterminate, a single word that echoes their chilling intent, sending shivers down the spine of anyone who hears it. Well, let's dive into their design. Okay, so we're going to dissect a Dalek. We'll start at the top section. The eye stalk, the part of the Dalek which enables the Dalek mutant to receive visual input from outside its casing. This is the most vulnerable part of the Dalek, and it's not in 4K. The directional audio receptor, located just behind the eye lens, this receptor enables a Dalek to detect which direction a sound is coming from. Over here. No, over here. A mutated brain. A Dalek's more complex functions are controlled by a mutated organic brain allowing Daleks to get all your bank details and rob you of all your money via the ATM. The telescopic arm usually deployed to manipulate controls. The plunge on the end of this arm could also be used to suffocate or crush mean? enemies. Sucker me to death. The gunstick. The Dalek's gunstick is reminiscent of today's laser-directed energy weapons, which produce a beam of concentrated electromagnetic energy, or atomic slash subatomic particles. And next, the bottom half. The Kalid Mutant. Yes, these octopus-like aliens originated from the planet Scaro. Normally reliant on their armored exterior for protection, you'll find that they're almost as deadly without it. Doctor, are you all right? <laughs> sensors. Much like the sensors in any modern-day car, a Dalek has a collection of globular sensors on its exterior to monitor its surroundings and detect temperature changes and movement proximity. In later iterations of the Dalek, these globular sensors would actually act as a force field and would contain ballistic missiles. Mobility. The early Daleks had to travel around on a metal floor, receiving power from solar panels above their city, very similar to the dodging car at the fair. This meant that if they first wanted to conquer the universe, they would firstly have to conquer stairs. And so the Daleks were equipped with anti-gravity discs in order to levitate off the ground for hover mode. Oh, and then they had flying. Exterminate all life forms below! Exterminate! Hang on! We have just managed to intercept a broadcast from the Dalek mothership. Let's eavesdrop. Help, help. 
What is the matter? I have blocked the toilet. I will sort it. How? What do you think the plunger is for? In the vast universe of sci-fi, Daleks are known for their impressive abilities. Too much to cover in just one video, so I hope you will join us in part two. Until then, goodbye and thanks for watching. Subscribe!